Hey everybody, how's it going? It's been a while and I just want to give you a little update on what's been going on and so on and so on. I know I haven't really been active lately on Patreon or on social media generally. I, as most of you might know, I am taking a break from, uh, not from so social media altogether because I am still active on the Instagram page of our Animal Sanctuary because it it's got to be active, <laughs> but uh, I haven't been on my personal account for some time, and uh, I haven't really been, uh, yeah, checking anything apart from WhatsApp and my email, and it's been super liberating, uh, to say the least. It's been very nice, although I would prefer taking a break from social media altogether, <laughs> just, you know, not responding to any messages at all, anything like that for a little bit, but it still um, provided me with a lot of uh, time and space to focus on things that actually matter, and uh, I've been, uh, well, I, I've been planning on traveling a little bit and uh, doing some, some activism uh, throughout this winter, but, you know, COVID and stuff, <laughs> it it, uh, it seems like it's not going to be entirely possible, and uh, I mean, I always try to look for some some positive things amongst the, the bad things, amongst the negative, um, so what I found in this situation that's actually super positive is that this actually created an opportunity for me to stay here at the sanctuary and just focus on that for a little bit. And uh, I'm actually loving it. I'm loving this um, village life. You know, I, I basically live in a forest and it's uh, it's been amazing. And I, I love spending time with the animals. And it, it is stressful at times, but it's, uh, it's something that, you know, I, I find very... Uh, valuable and important to do. So I've been, I've been really, I've really been enjoying this work. Um, it's also a lot of f hard physical work outside, which I really enjoy, and I, I like movement. Um, so yeah, it feels good. But um, on the f what I wanted to say was that um, I, I'm definitely going to come back on social media very soon. Uh, I'm not going to be as active as I used to be, I think. I'm gonna try to take it a little little bit uh, easy, but I wanted to update you a little bit on what's what's been going on and what I'm planning on doing in the upcoming months because I was actually planning a, uh, well, my friend from Portugal was planning a tour for me for February and March in Portugal, which was supposed to be two entire months of school talks. And I would try to fit in a couple of workshops uh, here and there as well, because I, I still really want to spread uh, the message of nonviolence and uh, just, yeah, pursue that um, that path, uh, because that's what I believe in. And uh, I, I find it very important for people to, to understand what nonviolence is and how to use it. Anyway, I, I'm not entirely sure whether this is going to be uh, completely possible, for me to do right now so now everybody's talking about a third wave of you know whatever so I decided that instead of you know planning and then and then you know like organizing this and that and all of a sudden it's like oh damn I have to cancel everything but I've been counting on this instead of that I am just gonna stay here for a little bit uh, I mean I was planning on staying here throughout the summer of 2021 anyway so I think what I'm gonna do right now is just stay here um, until this whole thing blows over because I there's a lot of work that needs to be done here and we've been working a lot I've, I've uh, had a couple of friends that have been coming here to volunteer a lot and it's been it's been pretty um, amazing and we we've done uh, some some great work and my other friends just started another animal sanctuary and we kind of help each other out whenever possible so sometimes I go there to help them for a few days sometimes they come here to help a, a little bit so you know it's uh, a lot of solidarity and I'm loving it so we're coming up with all sorts of different projects and now me and a friend of mine we are planning on building a little 
um, basically like a community center, um, so to speak, at our animal sanctuary here at the Ponto. So this is supposed to be a building that I would like to, um, basically I would like it to function as a, not just a sleeping place for people who come to volunteer or visit or they join a retreat that we're going to organize here, but it's also going to be a place where we can have workshops and and talks and presentations and and uh, there's going to be a room with uh what do you call it you know like the the rubber floor that you use for martial arts um so i would like to put that there and i already have some offers from people who are uh going to train people in brazilian jiu-jitsu and krav maga and and we're going to do yoga and we're going to meditate and uh, i want to do some um public events with Wim Hof breathing and uh, so you know cold water exposure and all that stuff and just a lot of cool positive things so that it's not just a place where um, you know we save animals and we take care of animals which is already amazing as it is but I also want it to be a place where people get inspired where people I want it to be a, a place that becomes inspiring and transformative for many people um, so this is something that I want to pursue right now. And apart from all of this, we are also... So so this construction that I'm talking about, uh, I'm going to build it myself with a friend of mine and a bunch of volunteers. Uh, hopefully in the spring, we want to wait a little bit. We could do it as soon as possible, but we want to wait a little bit because it's winter, it's really cold. And, and if we use you know cement and all these things, it's going to take ages uh, for it to dry and it's not going to be as... Um, nice to be building in this uh, environment so in the spring we're definitely gonna build this uh, community center uh, but also now we are uh, I just finished a website for our sanctuary so that's what I've been working on as well um, and uh, we are basically our uh, property our sanctuary is surrounded by more than, I think it's something, there's definitely at least 15 hectares of land that's like on one side and then there's another side that's uh, possibly um, available for sale as well and that's just as big. So I think it's like 30 hectares of land which is huge um, and that's like directly connected to the land that we already own um, and we already bought um, another hectare just recently which my stepdad basically took a loan so that we could buy that so we are a little bit in debt right now but it's totally worth it because on that land there are two ponds so a lot of the animals that we have they can actually go there and have water and we have ducks so they can swim around it's really nice and we also want it, want it to be a place where wild animals such as deer can just go and drink water because there's not so many places left for them to do this uh, we, we also want to do that with fields around so basically what I'm saying is we want to raise a lot of money uh, during the year of 2021 to be able to buy as much land as possible and we just want to build something positive and there's a lot of potential it could be anything it could be a vegan village slash community it could be just you know uh, a huge place for many many rescued animals it can be you know a bunch of constructions it, it can be so many things it can honestly be so many positive things that you can do with all that space so this is something that we we are going to focus on next year definitely um so yeah i'm uh, i'm definitely going to stay here for some time and uh so what i want what i wanted to tell you as you know all of my supporters on patreon was that uh, all of the money that you're, and I, honestly, I appreciate you so much for, you know, sending me all, sending me all this money, even though I haven't really been active, I haven't really been posting, I haven't really been updating you so much about what's been going on, but, uh, I, I see this as something that, you know, it, it seems like you, you're putting a lot of trust in me, and you, you trust that I'm gonna use this money well, and, uh, that means a lot to me, and I, I, I will definitely try my best to, to live up to that um, anyway so what I wanted to say is that right now all that money and I haven't touched my patreon money in ages so there's about one thousand and two hundred dollars right now on my patreon that I still haven't touched um, so that's a lot of money that has kind of accumulated over time and uh, it's honestly it's just incredible 
So that's kind of a lifesaver right now for me because I'm literally running out of money and this is going to be something that's going to keep me alive in the, in the upcoming months. So um, what I wanted to say is that in the upcoming months, um, this money that I'm getting on Patreon, I'm going to be using for sustaining, mainly for sustaining myself on the sanctuary so that I can work on this, so that I can help animals, so that I can take care of the animals and spend time with them and give them some love and, you know, just to at least to be able to pay for my health insurance and, and food and so that I can keep working on this. So basically what I'm saying is with that money right now, you if you choose to still continue supporting me, um, you will be kind of indirectly supporting the, sing the, the animal sanctuary, which is pretty cool because, you know, it's, it's another very important type of activism. And now that I can't really travel around because of COVID and all that stuff, there's not not many choices that I have and this is one of the I believe this is one of the most important forms of activism anyway and uh, I, yeah that's that's it <laughs> so that's what I wanted to say uh, I wanted to up, I wanted to update you on this and I hope that you will keep supporting me and our beautiful sanctuary here and of course each and every, and every single one of you you are always, always welcome here. So if if at any point you're, you're going to stop by the Czech Republic and you want to visit, you want to volunteer, you want to help us out, or you just want to visit and, you know, cuddle the animals and say hi, then whatever, like, you're welcome here. So <laughs> just so you know. All right, I'm going to cut this short. It's already been way too long, but I hope that you enjoyed the video. And, uh, yeah, get in touch with me anytime you want. I'm going to try to respond to messages on Patreon. Uh, you can also reach out to me to get my uh, phone number so that you can connect with me through WhatsApp, and I'll be here. So, all right, thank you. Have a beautiful rest of the day or evening or whatever part of the day it is. Mwah.